is Tom, and today I'm going to show you my LED umbrella. This is the umbrella here. I've already set it up. It's powered with this little USB charger that I got from Walmart for $6. It's uh, quite small and cheap, but it does the trick. You plug it right here into the Arduino inside the top of the umbrella. And you slip it into the little pocket. Now you can see that the screen here on the handle is telling us the temperature and the humidity. Yeah. I'll upload some pictures of all of that so you can see hopefully a readable screen. So the different modes of this umbrella are the one that it's in now where all the LEDs are off and the screen is on. The button is right here on the handle and when you press the button it'll turn all the LEDs on or into vibration mode. Right now it's in the vibration mode where vibrating a quarter of the panel will turn the LEDs on. And they're all lighting up. And one more press of the button keeps them all on. And the screen is still working. And that's all of them off. <clears throat> and I'll show you again with the lights off. This umbrella is also fully functional upside down like this. Everything is built in and attached. And now we can turn the lights off. Alright. This is all of the LEDs on. So this is the umbrella in its um, vibration mode. So, as you can see in vibration mode, this, this lights up, this lights up, this lights up, this lights up. constructing this umbrella, I built it in stages. The first stage was both of the circuits, one for the temperature sensor and the humidity separate on a breadboard, and the next circuit I built the LEDs with the piezos on a separate breadboard, and I'll show you pictures of those. Then I combined them both into one breadboard and tried to get that working, and as soon as I did get that working, I moved on to building a PCB for this. I can show you where it is inside the pocket here. Maybe in another video I will take it out and unplug all the wires. It's in that little pocket. I have sewn that fabric pocket into the plastic of the umbrella. So I've now taken the Arduino and the circuit board that I built outside of the pocket and I can show you that. This is the circuit board that I've built. You can see it's plugged into an Arduino on the bottom. And this is the cable plugged into the Arduino. That cable plugs into the battery pack. What you would need to build one of these on your own is five 1K ohm resistors. You would also need four 330K ohm resistors, which are connected to the piezos. You would need four piezos for the different quarters of the umbrella. 
you would need 12 LEDs, each piezo is hooked up to three LEDs in a quarter. Um, I used a external rechargeable USB battery pack to plug in the Arduino, which works great. Uh, you also need a lot of wire. Um, all around here is tape and wire. We need the LCD screen, which I have used a two-line, 16-character LCD screen. I have built the button up here in the handle, so you'd also want a button there. Uh, you would need the Arduino Uno. And a DHT11 is what's reading the humidity and the temperature. So I believe that is everything. I can also show you that this umbrella does indeed close still. Now, I like to use a piece of wire to securely close the umbrella. There you have it. That is the LED umbrella. Thank you very much.